<laughs> well, it's time to see yes. if Dave can see the fishing line here I, at the CCA workbench, right, Dave? I decided I'm going to use the big line. I, I can't see, you know. This is we're talking about the drop shot rig, and you know, and it's it, we're trying to. It, it's not an old rig, but it's not a brand new rig. So it's probably been around for like 10 years or so. Uh, 20, 2003 or something like that is when I first started hearing about it. It may have been around before that a little bit, but what's still a little fuzzy? Yeah, yeah, it is. But, but still, fuzzy. but still, what I like about them <laughs> is it, it, they they're very versatile. And a lot of guys don't like to use them because they've got the they've got the idea that it's a finesse rig, and that's how it really started. You know, people. What this rig was made for is when bass are really starting to get hammered, uh, they go down in size to smaller things, and this rig is actually with the the weight way down below it, and then the and then the the bait above the weight. Right. And and so what you're the trying to do. weight is on the bottom. Correct. And and it's usually a smaller a smaller bait, some kind of uh, either a tiny piece of a worm, four to six inches, or a shad bait, something like that, to that can wiggle uh, a lot. It's uh, always a plastic bait, and it, usually on a smaller hook, a one aught, a two aught, something like that. And it's and it's and it was made to try to get a bite when you couldn't get a bite out of anything else. And that's what some guys think that that's the only time to use it, but that's really not. It's not the only time to use it. Uh, you can use these things when in the summertime, especially now when the bat, when it gets real hot and the bass will go deep or, or they'll get up into that real deep cover and guys will you'll start punching with just regular punching stuff. But you can punch, you can do power, uh, a power drop shot with a big heavier weight, like a, one, a, a three quarter or a half ounce weight and, you know, a bigger, you know, five aught hook with a big worm on it. And you can still punch with these too, you know, once, especially if you rig this Texas style with the hook not protruding, so it's weedless, you know, and you can get down in there and, and use these things in, you know, really shallow water around cover, you know, and use, and you have to go up in size, obviously, with your line from, you know, four to eight, which is your regular drop shot uh, stuff to, you know, up to 12, 15 or 17 pound test line. Right. When you're around wood or, you know, docks and stuff, because this stuff, this technique with the, with the way that the bait is suspended above the weight and you can jiggle the weight, jiggle the bait. And that's what you're trying to do when you're working this is you're trying to jiggle the bait without moving the weight. You know, the weight goes down to the bottom and it'll sit and on the you're bottom. you're playing with the slack. Correct. You want this thing to maybe drop and then come back up. And you can move the weight a little bit. But that's the thing is you're wanting that thing to just quiver like that. And, and you're going to use a, a rod that you're going to want to have. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a pretty light tip, a noodley type of rod, especially when you're using that really light line and the finesse uh, situation. You're gonna use a really fast action rod with a really light noodley tip that can jiggle. You right. know, make that make that little bait jiggle and dance, so, whether it's a, a shad type bait like that or would you want a six or and a, a half or a seven foot length? Like the, um, it, it depends. You know, if you're if you're in deep water like now in the summertime, but all the bass are are in deep water up around shad, and this thing shines in those situations because you can see the school of bass on your sounder, and you get right up on top of them, and you can drop it right down to their level. Right. And if you're using that kind of stuff, you don't really have to have a, a really long rod for casting. You can get away with using a shorter rod, even a bait caster. Yeah. You know, you don't have to use a spinning rod. A lot of times you'll be using a spinning rod when you're using this light stuff and doing this finesse work. But when you're when you're trying to uh, use it in that deeper water, you don't have to, and so, you can use up to bigger. So are you going to show us how to do well, this? Well, the, the, the Palomar spring? knot, the Palomar knot is the key because you want the you want the bait to be perpendicular. You want the hook to be perpendicular to the line. And the Palomar knot does that. And especially if you're using a, a, a worm or something like that, you, you want to have you want to have it the same way so that it is perpendicular as well. Actually, I got it upside down. Right. But see how that little wacky, you know, it's, it's perpendicular. Yeah. And the, and so the Palomar. So tie it on there? You better well, hurry. You gotta, yeah, you got to use a Palomar knot. You want to go straight down. Through. You're going to go through. Yep. And then you're going to come Cheat back to through. that camera, Dave. You're going to come back through. Quit turning it. We're gonna come back through. Oh yeah, coming back through. We coming back through. Coming back through. Okay. All right. And see how you're gonna you, this this tag end is gonna be your your length. Right. You want it to be a long tag end. Yeah. You're just gonna have that loop through the eye of the hook. Yeah. You're gonna wrap those two pieces just one time around. Right. And then you're gonna put the hook through that loop. Ah. Uh, and this it's nice because it bends. 
But yeah, and then you're going to tighten all of them down at once. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, and it's really easy. It's just the, it's just the loop that goes through, and then the and then it, well, I'm not going to tighten it down because I did it And guys can early. Google how to do this. Correct. Online. And then once you get the tag in out, you straight back down through, and that makes it that does it that makes it do the perpendicular thing. I know makes it, it stick out. Correct. I got it. I, I agree. Be able to that do was it. some pretty finessing over there. I have to say, <laughs> it's good. <laughs>